We all know what beavers are, right? You know, that small wood chopping and tail slapping animal? You know, the animal that gifts its tail to us Canadians so we can make the best pastry known to man? Yeah, that thing. Well, apart from creating lakes by damming running water, beavers also like to build their own houses. Except sometimes, they're not just theirs. Oh, and also, there's no actual beaver tails in beaver tails if you don't know. That was just a joke. Or was it? But by the end of this video, if you enjoyed the content, if you could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Well anyways, meet its rodent cousin, the muskrat. These things are much smaller than beavers, weighing in at a max of 2 kilos or 4.4 pounds, compared to the beaver which can weigh up to 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. Not only that, but muskrats can only get up to 70 centimeters in length, and usually half of that is the length of its rat-like tail. This is much smaller than the beaver's 170 centimeters in length, where only 50 centimeters of that is their tail. Although the muskrat is small compared to the beaver, which is the world's second largest rodent behind the capybara, it's still not that small for a rodent, being the largest member of the Crescitidae family. Well, to continue, these muskrats generally live in the same areas as beavers. They like slow-moving streams and rivers as well as beaver ponds. And similarly to the beaver, they make lodges in these areas from decaying plants or by burrowing into the bank of the pond or stream. That being said, it's not uncommon that muskrats will live with beavers inside their lodges. Why do they do this? Well, there's a whole host of reasons why. One of which is that both animals share the same predators, and since the beaver is a lot slower than the muskrat, it's good for them to have an extra set of eyes to watch out for threats. Another reason is that both animals become a bit less active during the winter. A beaver lodge is an ideal place for both species to live that keeps them warm, dry, and safe. Not only that, but the more animals in the lodge, the easier it is to conserve body temperatures. And since both species have extremely similar diets, they can easily supply food for each other. So they generally have a mutualistic relationship. Although the two do benefit each other, it's known that beavers and muskrats will occasionally fight over their territory, but this is quite rare. But perhaps in a way to avoid these confrontations with beavers, it's been observed that muskrats will bring plant matter into the lodges to help with upkeep and structural repair. So all in all, muskrats do seem like a pretty good roommate for the beaver to have. They definitely don't seem like that one roommate who never pays for rent, groceries, or never cleans up after they make a mess. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.